What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night. Today I'm going to be showing you five of the most powerful apps that you can download for your Android smartphone. This is going to be a new series, so if you enjoy this kind of thing, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know that you want to see more of this in the future. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. I recently made a video on my favourite automation apps for Android and you can find the link to that in the description below. One of the apps however that I didn't mention was Tasker and this is by far the most powerful automation app out there for Android. This will allow you to automate anything on your phone. So for example here I have got a couple of tasks set up so that if I plug my headphones into my phone it will automatically launch Spotify. I've also got it set up so that if I put my phone face down it will automatically put the phone into silent mode. So this is super useful if you're at work, you can just have it on the table in front of you and you know you're not going to get that irritating phone call and interrupt everyone. There is quite a big learning curve so I'm going to put some links in the description to some of my favourite guides that will teach you to get the most out of Tasker. I've recently got into photography and one of my favourite types of shot is a tilt shifted photo. This is when you get a really wide plane of focus and it allows you to take photos that look like models. Normally to do this you need a very expensive lens and a very expensive camera. However using the Tilt Shift app you can get some pretty cool results. This will allow you to take really cool photos where your subjects look like they're little models. It's got a load of different settings so you can really tweak how the blur looks on your photos. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to take the photo within the app. You can just use this to edit a normal photo that you've taken to apply that really nice effect. I'll put a link in the description to some of my favourite Tilt Shift photography. And if you do use this I would love to see the photos that you guys get so make sure to tweet them to me at Android at night. Multitasking has been getting better and better with each version of Android but if you're using a bigger screen display there is definitely some scope for improvement. This is where floating apps come in and this allows you to create proper multitasking floating windows of some of your favourite applications. Now this won't work with every single app on your phone but you can use it for stuff like Facebook, for the browser, for Wikipedia, there's even a compass. Think of these as a mixture between floating windows and widgets. One of my favourite features is if you open this over an app, it will turn semi-transparent so you can still see what you're searching on say Google and you can still have your note window or your Facebook window open and floating on top of it. This isn't an app that I'd use every day but I've used it a few times when I've needed it and it's been really useful and it's really interesting to see where multitasking could go in the future. One of my pet hates with Android is the inability to put widgets in your notification shade and I mean sort of having a separate section for widgets kind of like you have in iOS. However if you want to take a step towards rectifying this you can check out an app called Quidgets. This only works in Android 7.0 or above. This will allow you to add a link to a widget in your quick settings panel. According to Google Play quite a lot of people can't get this to work but this works completely flawlessly on my Pixel. With just a couple of taps you can get say a full screen calendar widget and you don't need to clog up space on your home screen. If you're an absolute nut for keeping your home screen really minimal and themey then this is one that you should definitely try out. One of the questions I get asked the most is how to save battery on your smartphone. Now if you're running an AMOLED screen congratulations for having a superior screen technology and secondly you can use an app called Pixoff which will allow you to save huge amounts of battery life. The way that this works is on an AMOLED screen if you display the colour black you're not actually putting any energy into that pixel, the pixel is just turned off and this is different to how LCD screens function. This means you can create a grid pattern of black on your screen and this will turn off some of the pixels and save you battery life. Now this obviously doesn't make your phone look the best in the world but if you're rocking a screen with a decent resolution anyway you can definitely afford to drop it and still have it as a usable device. And at the end of the day, if you're really running low on battery life, it's better to have a screen with slightly lower resolution than it is to just completely run out of power. A lot of people cited some concerns with something called pixel burn-in, which means that if pixels are turned off for too long, your screen will start to change slightly and display that pattern all of the time. To rectify this, the developers have made it so this will cycle through a couple of different patterns and interval of your choice. So this should stop your screen getting that burn-in effect. It's also got a few other cool things built in like a nightlight feature which is kind of like twilight and it's got an option which will automatically turn this on and off when your phone is in your pocket or when it's face down. So there you are guys, those are some of the most powerful apps that you can download for your Android phone. Let me know what you think of this in the description below and also let me know which are the most powerful apps that you use on a daily basis. Thank you very much for watching, you can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description and as always I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.